Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to take a look at new mobile B15. Now here in the side of the box we have the specifications of the phone. We have a full HD display of 6.7 inches which is 90 Hz. We have 4 GB of RAM and 128 GB of storage. We have a big battery of 5000 mAh and this phone supports fast charging. Inside of the box we have the phone itself, the power adapter, we have the screen protector, quick start guide and a TPU case. This is the phone itself. Let's take a look at the box contents real quick. We have the new stickers here. We have the quick start guide. We have a screen protector, which is a glass screen protector. It's a tempered glass. It's not a film screen protector. We have a gel skin case. We have an adapter. We have a cable, which is type C on one side and type A on the other. And we have the SIM ejection tool. No earphones on the box, unfortunately, but to imagine that most of the devices at this day and age are removing everything from the box, this phone has a screen protector, it has a TPU gel skin case, and it has a charger inside of the box. Okay, so this is the phone itself. We have the specifications here. We have an octa-core processor of 2 GHz. This phone is not 5G capable, but I believe that 4G LTE is more than enough 48 megapixel is the main sensor, 5000 mm, okay, we set those. Let's just take a look at the phone, okay, so it shines. Let me also just remove this sticker. It's kind of shocking because I was not expecting the phone to look this good. Of course, this phone will be a fingerprint magnet, but if we use the clear gel skin case on the phone, this is how it's going to look with the gel skin case on. Let's just turn on the phone now and take a quick look. While the phone is turning on, I want to mention that here on the right side of the phone, we have the power button, which also serves as a fingerprint sensor. We have the volume buttons here. On the top, we have a microphone. Selfie camera is on the center of the phone. On the left, we have the SIM tray. In the back we have the quad camera setup and on the bottom we have the speaker, the Type-C port, a microphone and the headphone jack. Okay, so let, let me just skip through this menu real quick. Okay, so now we are on the menu and let's take a quick look and browse through the phone. We don't have a lot of apps. Let's go to display, screen refresh rate, and let me select the 90 Hertz refresh rate. If you're gonna spend 250 US dollars because this is the price of the phone, you might as well keep the phone with 90 Hertz display refresh rate. Yeah, it feels much more smoother than 60 Hertz. Let me just go to system update, register the phone to take automatic updates. And as we can see here, we have the November Android security patch that fixes minor bugs. Straight out of the box, we have Android 11. Take a look at this guys. The last full charge of the phone was 137 days ago and the phone has 62% of battery. Can you imagine? This phone was manufactured and had its last charge 137 days ago. At storage here, we see that we have 115 gigabytes free. Here in settings, we have intelligent assistance. It has smart answer and these other options here. We don't have NFC on this phone, but we have a VPN and private DNS. Okay, just the regular stuff, nothing much actually. Let's open the camera, take a quick look there. And as we can see on the toggles, we have professional, which is the pro mode. We have video, we have photo, portrait, night, and more. Here on more, we see some other options, panorama, QR scan code, selfie panorama, time-lapse, slow motion, and macro lens. Here we see the maximum video resolution is 1080p. And as we can see here, the phone has electronic image stabilization. Okay, so now before closing the video, let me just put the screen protector on the phone. 
be sure to clean the display of the phone with the wet wipe before and after we use the dry wipe to clean the phone display and as you can see the phone display is cleaned and it's now ready for the screen protector installation before letting go the screen protector on the display be sure to line it up very good okay so now i have let go and if we just press here on the middle okay so as you guys can see we have inserted the screen protector and this is how it will going to look after we put the screen protector on the phone and the tpu case this was the video guys thank you so much for watching i will see you on the next one